January 2025 was the warmest January globally with a temperature that was 1.75 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial level, so above the temperature from 1850 to 1900. Towards the middle of 2024 onwards, we entered a, a neutral to developing La Nina phase, so a cooler phase. So even though the equatorial Pacific isn't creating conditions that are warming the, our global climate, we're still seeing record temperatures. When you look at the global map, you see um, very bright red, so dark red anomalies, which are showing much warmer than average over the Arctic. So we know that the, the anomalies that we saw in January in the Arctic were extreme. They're on the order of uh, 20 degrees above the climatological average. By far and away, the largest contributing factor of climate change is uh, the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And this is primarily due to uh, burning of fossil fuels. We know that the extreme events, they happen more frequently and with more intensity, the warmer our climate is. And in 2024, we've seen record losses from extreme events, from hurricanes, from wildfires, from storms. These are projected to become more frequent and more intense with a warmer world.